Hello again, class and parents. Um, I want to talk about word work for, for a minute. Um, in class, we do all kinds of different small group word work. Um, the kids do a lot of independent word work where they work on letters and words on their level as well as guided word work in a group with me. Um, I would like to show you some worksheet free ways of adapting word work to home learning. Um, but before I do that, let's talk about what word work is. Um, word work can be several different things. It can be phonics, tapping out CVC words, talking about different phonics rules. Um, it can be letter and sound identification, specifically at the beginning of the year. Um, but we do tend to have refreshers on letter sound ID throughout the entire year as well. Um, it can be learning new sight words or practicing old sight words or a combination of all of these things. Um, in your at home packet, you will find a sheet that looks like this. This sheet has all the lowercase letters of the alphabet. I took the time to cut each letter up and put them in a bag like this. Don't throw away the blank ones. You can write a letter on it if you lose a letter or if you have a word with two of the same letter in it. Um, hang on to those as well. Put these in a safe place and you can use these exactly like you would letter magnets um, as I'm sure you may or may not have these available for word work in your house. You can practice CVC words. S at sat, you can practice sight words. O R or W A S was. Or if you need a refresher in letter ID or letter sound ID. Call out a certain letter or the sound that it makes and have your child find that letter. There are also different fun and creative ways that you can create an alphabet that isn't just pencil and paper. Um, one of the easiest things you can do is uh, just, you know, write your words on a whiteboard. I also have created um, alphabets that you can move around with bottle caps. You just write the letters on a bottle cap. They're easy to manipulate and move around to create letters, to create words with. Um, I have old puzzles that are missing, you know, one or two pieces and they're pretty useless at that point for as puzzles, but you can turn them over and, over and write letters on them. Um, there are letter beads. If you have any letter beads lying around your house, pick them up. Make a movable word work alphabet with them. Um, Lego or Duplo box. Write a letter on each block. Put them together to make your CVC words or sight words. Um, you can also use bigger ones to write work families on them. There are also many games like Scrabble that come with different letter tiles. A lot of teachers love to use Scrabble tiles 
for word, for word work. Um, and they are very easy to move around and make words with. So in your packet you have CVC words. These are just these are just a few examples of the many CVC words. Sight words, all the sight words we have learned up until this point, and then some for the entire year. Um, and I will also be sending out different and new list of CVC words, nonsense words. Um, a few of you may see some word lists for sorts on some skills that are a little bit beyond CVC words um, depending on whether your child has passed the CVC level or not so stay tuned for uh, more word work words to come and if you come up with a creative idea of making an alphabet please snap a picture of it and send it to me. I would love to see what kind of creative alphabets you can create. Well, that is it for now. I will see you later. Goodbye.